Hello everyone. Welcome back to these uh, short tutorials for Bioflow. Uh, these are informal tutorials where I just um, guide you on how to use the different analytical modules. Um, in the past, we show you how to retrieve your data, how to save that data when you have to go and, and do something else and close the application and how to retrieve that once again, to you start where you stopped last time. Um, we have also shown you in the previous videos how to do the QA for your phenotypic and genotypic data. Um, also, how to perform a single trial analysis and the basis for that. Um, how to do multi-trial analysis using different genetic evaluation methods like G-blob, B-blob, regular blob, etc. And how to include even weather information. Um, but this video is going to be focused on selection indices. So we're going to um, assume that you are already familiarized with the previous modules. And instead, we're going to retrieve the results from our multi-trial analysis that we did in the last tutorial. So I'm going to go to uh, data management, in case you didn't see it, data management, retrieve all the analysis, then object source upload from PC. Then I'm going to browse the file and I'm going to click on load object. You should receive this success message that your data has been successfully loaded. In this case, the MTA done, that's how I called it. So now you can move to the uh, selection index module. So I'm gonna go to selection menu, generic evaluation, selection indices. And then you will see as the rest of the modules always with three tabs at the top, the information tab, that is telling me the details about uh, this particular module. Uh, also a status message telling me if I can proceed with the analysis or there is something else that I should do before. Then you can see the input tab, which is where we normally start, uh, where we display additional tabs that allow us to pick the input parameters. And just remember that Every time that you select an input parameter, there is this gray box where you specify those parameters. But there is also this um, other visualizations below that allow you to uh, select um, what is the analysis. Um, you know that in this case, uh, the, the analysis that you want to use as input. Uh, but all the visualizations below aim to help you to pick the right input parameters. That's, I guess, the the final lesson. Uh, for picking the MTA timestamp, you can see that I have three options because last time I uh, performed three different multi-trial analysis. And that's what the visualization is telling me, that there was a QA for phenotypes that then was used to perform an STA in purple. But then that STA was used as input to perform three different multi-trial analysis. And the question that is asking me is, which one do you want to use as input? For the sake of uh, you know uh, uh, using the most advanced analysis, I'm going to use the results from the GBLOB model that I fit, but it can be from any type of uh, genetic evaluation method. Uh, and then I can move to pick traits. You can actually pick more than one in case you have maybe one trait in one analysis. Maybe you fit it grain yield on this analysis and plant height in this analysis and grain moisture in this analysis. And you may want to use the tree to build a selection index with the three traits. But because I fitted the two traits in this analysis, I only need one timestamp. Then I can move to the next tab and you can see that it's going to ask me in the gray box, what are the type of selection index that I want to use, the desired index or the base index? Um, and the traits to analyze and whether I should scale the traits or not. I'm going to start picking the desired index because that's um, the one that the 1CG recommends uh, to um, specify the desired change in the means of the population um, for the different traits. So I pick the desire, which is the default. For the traits, I'm going to pick yield and grain moisture. And you can see that as I pick those two traits, some visualizations show up. This visualization is a radar plot that allows me to see what is the traits that I have in my breeding population and also what is the desired population currently. You can see that um, it's allowed, once I pick the traits, there was these two, these two slides um, or sliders, sorry, um, that show up. 
telling me, okay, for this trade that you have selected, how much you want to this, uh, you know, to move the the population mean, or what is your desire? Uh, the desired change for yield, I'm gonna set it to one standard deviation, which is this black bar, and it's equivalent to 0 0.07 tons. Um, and for grain moisture, I'm gonna leave it at zero. Um, so in that particular case, um, there is only two trades, but you can put more. And this is telling you, you know, more or less the, uh, what is the, the difference between the breeding population and the desired. The more trades, you know, you get a nicer plot, like the one in the information um, tab. But because there is only two trades, it only looks like a line. Um, also, some additional uh, graphs that the, is building for you to, to help you guide your decision is to um, for you to explore that given this desired change, what is the expected change in the population? Um, you can see that with this expected change, the yield should increase because some individuals will be selected and some will not be selected. But by increasing the yield, I would also increase a little bit the grain moisture because of the genetic correlation. Um, that can help you, you know, maybe decide that you even want to reduce grain moisture um, a bit more. So there is less increase here at the expense of probably not increasing that much uh, the grain yield. But, uh, you know, you can play with these values and see, you know, how different um, this, uh, this can look like depending on, you know, the different input values. Some additional metrics um, that you can see, for example, the reliability of the trades, because you might not want to include a trade that doesn't have a good reliability. For example, actually, these are two trades that have terrible reliability, and I would not include a trade maybe not even these two trades with the, such a low reliability, um, but it's just for the sake of example that I'm showing you. So I'm just going to include both. Okay, so once you decide what are the right uh, decided changes, um, you can see that we specified in the original scale units, but you can always just select um, to scale the trades so you can express it in terms of standard deviations. Once you are ready, and once again, the visualizations that are not part of the gray boxes are just here to inform you on picking the right input parameters. This will not affect your analysis and it's just um, visualization aids. So once you're ready to run the analysis, you can just go to the run analysis tab. And if you're good to go, you can just click on calculate index. Uh, but there's also some additional settings. In this case, nothing important other than just printing the logs. Uh, so I will click on Calculate Index, and then you will see that I will get immediately put in the Output tab, where I can see the predictions, the new predictions for the new trade that is called Desire Index for the different materials or hybrids that I'm analyzing uh, for the different entry types, and the value for the index. Remember that the index is very difficult to interpret and it's, um, because it's weighting the trades in a different way. Uh, uh, you know, way. Uh, so you should not get worried with the scale. You just have to remember that the bigger the value of the of the index, the better the, the material. Some modeling parameters that are saved, so you can always keep track of what was happening. For example, you can see that here, we decided a desired change in yield of 0.16 tons, um, a minus 0 0.04 um, in grain moisture. Um, and that translated into a weight of 201 for yield and minus 690 for a grain moisture. Just this is, But this is the weight calculated based on the desired approach. You, you might not want to interpret this, but only keep an eye on the, uh, the desire um, and whether the uh, trades were scaled or not. In this case, we did not scale the trade. And just as the other modules, you also get a dashboard uh, where you can visualize an across environment trade table in this case for yield, moisture, and the index, um, a radar plot of the two trades that were included, the expected response plot. Uh, you can see that we selected the best uh, in terms of the index, but that means that there was no change in grain moisture, but there was a slight change in yield. And also you can look at the selection index versus the rest of the trades available in the data set. 
So you can see whether some uh, there was certain correlation of the index with a particular trait. Some references of the methods used, like I said, this is based on the Pesek and Baker approach for desire and some um, other methods in, in, in other references. And you can always just click on download dashboard and it will download an HTML report for you uh, that you can always go and, and, and use it in your advancement meetings. It's an HTML that you can open always without being connected to the tool or to internet. And you will receive the exact same visualizations that we were looking at before and it's interactive as well. Um, so you can also uh, look at different uh, plots during these meetings and um, and discuss some interesting things with your partners. Um, and last, uh, don't forget that if you cannot continue your analysis and you need to leave and want to continue later, you might want to go to data management menu uh, on the save analysis section and then save your analysis uh, with a name that you prefer and then click on save and then an object will be uh, save on your downloads with the uh, extension R data. Then you can close and continue later and uploading it by going to retrieve all the analysis. I hope this was useful. Um, don't hesitate to contact us if you have questions by going to the home page about us, uh, contact and development tab, and then click on support desk to uh, drop us a message. Um, good luck with your analysis. Stay in touch.